Hey, Melinda Haynes, license number 102308. So why do skinny girls think they're fat? Okay, so typically they don't run around just saying, oh, I'm so fat, I'm so fat, trying to irritate everybody else. Because, you know, the other people that maybe are average size or maybe they're a little bit overweight, they're looking at this person saying, well, if you think you're fat, then what do you think about me? And that's not the message that the, the skinny fat girls are trying to to relay. Um, now, our society does place a lot of emphasis on looks and on, you know, being thin, being the right kind of body type or whatever. But somebody that's truly, you know, very thin and they, they continue to think that they have, um, you know, very like, oh, I'm so, I have such, you know, big hips or I'm this or that. If they're focusing on these body parts and they're out of proportion to what other people see, then it could be potentially a diagnosis of body dysmorphic disorder. Now, we don't want to run around just diagnosing people just based on, on a, a comment or, you know, do these genes make me look fat or whatever. It's, it's not that. It's not that simple. But, you know, just to give you an understanding that it could be something related to an anxiety over the way somebody looks. Now, that could stem from a lot of different things. It could be, you know, just the, the pressure from society. It could be um, being rejected by peers, being rejected by family members, um, being told you know, like teased, even just being teased. Oh, you've got grandma's nose or, or something like that, you know, in the family that then the person then ends up taking it on as, you know, something to try to fix, something to um, to focus on because it's, it's bad or it's wrong. Another thing is that people can sometimes focus on their flaws or their perceived flaws as a method of trying to reduce their anxiety. So... If I am, am like having like maybe generalized anxiety disorder, I'm just always like kind of, you know, nervous and upset and I just don't know where to put it. I will take something, I'll find something to worry about. So I might look in the mirror and be like, oh my gosh, you know, like, oh my, you know, face is like this or my butt is like that or just whatever it is and really focus on that because that gives me a place to put my anxiety. It gives me a place to let the anxiety land. And then I can worry about that and focus on that and talk about that and shop and buy makeup and watch makeup videos and do whatever it is. I can do all of these activities thinking that I'm going to try to fix this problem, which in reality, it's just my underlying anxiety. So that's another um, possibility of that going on. So remember, don't diagnose anybody. Just giving you a little bit of insight into, as to why sometimes um, people say things or think things that are not necessarily in line with the rest of us, you know, the way we perceive them. Um, so if you have any other questions, please contact me. Thanks for watching.